Oh, what is up, motherfucker? I can't. I can't swear. <laughs> Yo, sup, lads? All right. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right. Today, we are having a look at Tamriel Craft. Ooh, it apparently is. Actually, I don't know what it is. I just saw a post in the Morrowind uh, subreddit of the map of like, Vardenfell and Morrowind all in Minecraft. And apparently it's a whole project. I don't know if it's just Morrowind or if it's all of Tamriel. I don't know. I, let's find out. I, I thought it'd be cool. Let's go suss it. All right. All right. So the game wants to know if I'd like to use a custom resource pack. It's very kind of them to be providing that. What am I doing? <laughs> oh my god. Alright, this is staying in. This is all staying in. Wait, is, do I not get the custom resource? Oh no, here we go. Alright, I'm stoked. What changed? Dude, oh my god, we actually start off in the Imperial Prison. Wait. Is there a way I, I get out? Are they gonna come? Press... Oh. Does everyone start there? Alright, this is already... This is not what I expected at all. Really, at all. I can't break any of that stuff. Make sure you read all the rules. You can type rules to see them. Alright, let's see what narc shit they got. Official... Dude, I'm not... Dude, I don't care. I'm not going to a website to read your rules. Alright, I know this place. Oh, wait, can you... Oh, I can't jump up there. But I remember glitching up... Oh, can I? No, okay. Wait, I want to go... This is, like, painstaking. This is, like... This is peak nerd shit, alright? I'm here for it. I mean, don't, like, mistake that for me going, like... Oh, I don't. Wait, what is this? Is this meant to be in creative mode? What is this texture pack that give you? Can I pick up any of this? Wait, how do you? Oh, you right click. Oh, fuck, I've... it's been a while. All right, let's just move on. So, like, so far, this is a painstaking recreation. Except for why does it not let us right click doors? Wait, what is... Is that, like, still in process? progress soon? Let's, as usual, in every fucking Elder Scrolls game, get through the tutorial. Except Morrowind. Morrowind's cool like that. Even then, though, it's like, it's five minutes, but it's five minutes too long. Just give me a sword and dump me in there. I don't care. Alright, cool as. Chest. More empty stuff. It's, like, it's remarkably close. Like, they've done really well. I wonder if it's just here where they've really polished it and then the rest is, like, kind of, you know, like, a bit scuffed, but, like, still impressed. Impressed. Alright, what's this? What about this? Fuck off. Oh wow, they didn't even do it like a little trapdoor thing there. That's a that's a missed opportunity. Oh, that's kind of cool. I don't know if that's. Why do I find the most inane? Oh, I'm like, oh, a bit of green texture. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> that's so neat. Can I open it from this side? When do I get to pick my class? Alright, I'm already kind of getting a vibe of this, so... We're in creative mode for some reason. I assume it's just like, you can't really play the world. It's not like, oh, the, the, I remember playing like a few years back the Lord of the Rings, um... Minecraft mod. That was actually a whole world. They, I don't know what... They, it was like Middle Earth, but it was still like kind of randomly generated. I don't know, it was it was really cool though. And there was quests and stuff. So I don't know, maybe I'll take a look. So maybe it's not that. Maybe it's not quite that, because you could build on that and stuff. 
Oh my god. Holy shit. That is unreal. Sorry, I'm just taking a second, because, like... That, that can't be right. That's too good. Alright, that's cool. Meanwhile, check out a... Wait, can we... Is there more? A oh, dynamic map. Alright. I'm going to take a screenshot. Because I'm not going to do it now, but I'll do it later. Connection timed out. Alright, let's, let's get straight back in. This is classic. So, it replicates the full ES Elder Scrolls experience. I keep on getting it going to call every Elder Scrolls game just an ESO game. It's I've been playing that lately and it's, it's ruined my brain. Okay. Maybe I should rejoin. Oh my lord. So this is very exciting. Stop. Read these signs. It's important. Warp. This place different warp locations. Oh, so you can go to different places. I'm assuming you can just walk around the whole thing, but like... Also, wait, no, they've gotten something wrong straight away. Where's the the, the, the boys? The island? The, 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 the first Aelid ruin? Wow, and now I'm like weirdly invested. I Like, I could go go to anywhere in Tamriel right now, but all I want to do is go to that Aelid ruin that is not there. Is that it over there? Oh, it's there. It is there. So they're doing interiors as well. So apparently this... Oh, they've even got the... Oh, there's block that in... Thing, isn't there? But they, like... They've even got the beam of light. I don't know. There's the Imperial City right there, but all I want to do is check out these ruins. Oh, let's have a look to see if the... Um, Dungeons have been made. Right, look at this. This is swish. With the fireplace and everything. This will be the playable area. Wait, does that. Oh! So, like, there's going to be certain areas where you can't touch things. And then others. So, it's still, it's still a work in progress. Maybe I'll actually look at the website and look at the project. And you can even go down. Dude. Alright. I'm just going to enjoy it. I have so many things to say. I just, I'm just going to soak this in. I wonder if you can get like this marble texture but a bit darker. I suppose like the, the lighting engine. Like, yo, you could do some pretty insane things with the... Um, an RTX mod in this, or like the, the shaders, the path tracing shaders. Like, if you've played Oblivion, you know where this is. I'm mostly keen to kind of check out the places that have been done in the main three, like the, the later Elder. I nearly called it ESO games again. Excuse me. But yeah, I'm more keen to look at what they've done in the the 3D later games than just what's come off their imagination. Like, uh, that would be cool to check out, but, like, honestly, I'm just really stoked to see what they've done with already existing stuff. I mean, this so far is just a, a stock standard Oblivion dungeon, which aren't the most exciting things anyway. Alright, how do I... Let's just go to Balmora. No, let's go the. Let's go to Vivek. Oh, hello. Can I talk to you? Oh my god. This is like really, really, really cool. Wow, wow, you are. Wow. 
Oh man, this is really, really, really cool. I think we kind of get to, I'm getting the idea over there. So they, there really isn't much to do in this besides walk around, but it's just like, still really cool to see what they've done. And then apparently, yeah, like, I think they might do a RPG mod pack or something like that. It'd be the, that would be the true Elder Scrolls Online if they do that like a server for this. Oh, I can fly. They've even got the prison boy up here. Alright, let's see what they've done here. So apparently for some interiors, they've just like made a portal. Ah, we know what this looks like, this is the inside of the prison. Honestly, the interiors of Modern Warfare never their strong point. Well, the graphics in general. The art style was awesome, but like, yeah, you get what I mean. This is... It's like in a lot of ways better. <laughs> I don't know if that's blasphemy or not. I still really enjoy the games, but it, they're old, okay? They don't, they don't win everywhere. I don't think I've ever been in here. Was I not meant to ever be here? Is that a mean person? I don't know. In my, all my time I play more, which honestly isn't enough time. But I've just never bothered to walk up to there. Oh, maybe I have. Maybe once. I didn't know that guy was in there, though. Is that an important dude? Look at me showcase my moral knowledge. I really need to just sit down and finish that bloody game, because it's like, I've had so much fun with it, but it's just, it's just kind of old enough, and I've been just kind of too impatient lately to, like, really sit down and enjoy it. Uh, like give it the full attention it deserves. Like if you know, I tell you, I've had Elden Ring sitting there untouched for a, a little while now, and I really fucking enjoyed that. But like it's just, you know, that's long story short. I'll get around to it. I'll get around to feel it, finishing Morrowind. I don't know if I want to do it on like Android or not. I feel like I should do it on PC for the full experience. But let me know in the comments what you guys think. Oh, this is incompleto. Very much in oh, fuck out. No, am I stuck? I'm gonna have to warp. Maybe can I get up out here? Okay, this is still a work in progress. That's for sure. I don't think it's gonna be the sort of thing where I can just find some esoteric point in the map and then be able to just go there. Warp. Um, where do we want to go? Where's where's good? I'm just trying to, I'm totally blanking on. Go to Helgen. That warp does not exist. Why am I forgetting the name of every single place? Uh, yeah, oh, here's a cool. Dawnstar, actually, I like Dawnstar. It's just like a quaint little town. Alright, so that's what... Oh, I want to go to the Red Mountain, actually. But, like, this is... I don't know. This is something about Dawnstar I've always really enjoyed. Like, those... Those northern winter... Wintery... Like, especially at nighttime with the stars in the sky. It's just such, like, a, a pokey little village doesn't it feels its size you know where a lot of towns in like oblivion and skyrim mostly you know they're meant to be these giant cities but there's like 10 buildings this place always looked like the size it was meant to be and it's really cool it's just a pokey little village i really like it let's go up here check this out Man. Oh, is there a thing down here? What do I do? Is 
does that do? Is that meant to do something? I can see it's like trying to do something. I can't touch anything. I don't understand. I used to do red, uh, bed, uh, red, redstone quite a bit when I was uh, kind of just starting playing Minecraft. Like back in like alpha beta days. It's, it's too much going on. What is this meant to be? Right, I'm thoroughly confused. Enchanting table. Oh, that's a cool skelly boy. I don't even remember I've been up here the last time I had been up here. Is there any like. Oh, is that meant to be. What is that? Is that what these are doing? No, it's surely not. No, okay. Let's move on. Let's just fly through the countryside of Skyrim a bit. Some of the terrain detail. I wonder how one to one this is. It feels pretty one to one. Like the, I don't know if this makes sense. I don't really know how to explain this, but the scale of the Elder Scrolls games kind of gels with the scale of what this feels like. I'm sure it's like a map you can look at. That doesn't make any sense. That's not at all. I wonder what they could do with this world. 1.18. I wonder how much of it would break, but like, because you could have the the mountains be so much higher. You could have because Tamriel is obviously a place with a lot of different altitudes, right? And you can really exploit that if you had those extra building layers. What's this meant to be? Even th this feel. Oh, I know they probably use like world edit and stuff for a lot of this, but like. It still feels pretty handcrafted. I think it's a... How do I get in here? I'm gonna figure this out. By just clicking random things until it works. Okay, I feel like I can't get in there. I love those things though. Skyrim really is a good like it's a good game. It's I mean, judging by sales, it's one of the greatest games of all time. It kinda is. It's weird as like an older Elder Scrolls fan or he's I just so like I really do enjoy Skyrim, but then you know there's obvious like obviously it's it's made as changes. But then still at the end of the day I'm kind of begrudgingly like it's still a really good game. It's still a really, really fucking good game. You can't deny it. You can't deny it. And you love Todd Howard. Every, like, for all the shit we give Todd Howard, right? At the end of the day, I'd, I'd still love to shake that dude's hand. You know, like, he's still he's still an amazing game dev. What a weird love-hate relationship everyone has with this franchise. I'm going to go to the White Run, just suss it out. What's this meant to be? It's like they've used the hay, bale, hay bales as... I think that's kind of smart. They've done really well with like the comparatively limited... Oh, okay, I can't get in there. Oh no, I can. But yeah, they've done really well with the comparative, comparatively limited... Words are hard. I'm going to learn how to announce the age. Um, they've done really well with comparatively limited... Comparatively limited tile set to work with. What's that? Is that meant to be telling us something? Wait, where's this town again? Oh, this is... Oh, I've been going the completely different way to where I thought I was going. Oh, so this is definitely still a work in progress. I'm assuming that's what those things mean. Still cool, though. This place was one of those ones that really felt like way too small for what it is, right? It's meant to be a grand castle and city, and let's count. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's like a dozen houses here. 
Alright, let's go check out White Run. This is well done. Like the colour. There's been a lot more. I mean, I suppose it. Snow is kind of tricky because it all just looks like snow, but like. It even feels like this grass has been hand placed. Ah, oh, man. It's such a great mix, this map, because it's like the dedication of the Elder Scrolls community mixed with the dedication of the Minecraft community. And I tell you, when you put those two things together, especially like where both of them have that kind of like DIY energy, some bloody amazing things come out of it. Like, holy shit, this is just awesome. Oh my God. I see, maybe I should try and find some path tracing textures, like some good pseudo ray tracing textures and come revisit this. Cause like, I feel like with that lighting sitch, it'd just, it'd be unreal. It'd be absolutely fucking unreal. Oh, this is where you spend half your time right here. Holes in the, wait, is that a button? That's a cool button texture. I don't know why I'm so impressed with that. It, uh, it's probably not meant to be an actual button. It's just like, the like pavement, making it look more graphically. I don't know the word. Oh my God. It's even bigger than I remember it being. Holy shit. Some of these builds. I would see stuff like this and then I'm like, yeah, um, that's it. I'm getting into Minecraft building. This is just so awesome. And then I, I place like a dirt, a dirt house and I'm like, I have no clue how to improve on this. And I give up. Oh my good Lord. You know what? I am, I am stoked. I am so where they've really like this I don't know when this is gonna be out, right? Like other places look really good, but then you come here and you're like, holy shit. And like how they're gonna get everywhere up to the scratchy. It already oh, to be clear, it already looks amazing everywhere, but if their goal is to like make everything look this good. I don't see this mod being done before 2030. So it might still be Elder Scrolls 6, but it'd be close. All right, let's find and figure out what, oh, I wanted to go to the Red Mountain. All right, like one one more place. I don't know. It's just, you wander around. There's, there's really not much more to this mod or mod map thing, whatever. So I just wanted to take a, Wait, is there no Red Mountain? Let's see if we can go to the Ghost Gate and then go from there. Oh, have they tried to? Oh, they have. That's pretty good. I mean, obviously you couldn't do a warping texture or anything like that. But like, that is pretty fucking good. This got some. This makes me want to come back to this area. I just need to finish Morrowind. I really do. It's probably one of my favorite. I mean, they're all good in their different ways, right? But like, this is so mysterious and fascinating about Morrowind. It makes me want to keep coming back. Just really need to put that time in and just get past the jankiness. Just do it. Holy shit, this is good. Really, I don't even think I've been here in game, so I have really no context with the build off. But like, I just want to see what they've they would have done with a big landmark. Damn, can you go inside any of these places? My graphics are not liking this, but I don't have OptiFine installed. Some slack. Game choice has kind of run good enough for me to like never get around to installing it. Right, how do I get inside?
Oh, I don't know if you can. I don't know if you can in the game either, so we can pass there. Whoa! That's it, dudes. I think we're going to leave it there. Just a quick look today of camryelcraft.eu. I'm sure there's a... I'll, I'll find the project. I'll link it. There's probably a place to donate. It should donate. I'm, yeah, it's... It's really cool. I, I would love to see this like fully get off the ground. And they say apparently they had they've been working on it for like eight years or something. And it's like you can kind of tell. But yeah, stoked there there's no real gameplay or anything. It's just like wandering around at the moment, but I'm excited to see what comes of it. So like, yeah, just I still don't know how to do outro videos. So anyway. Peace out.